All right, we are leaving Monterey Jet Center and about to head to Napa to announce a bit of a partnership we're doing with the company, which you're going to learn about shortly. But it's a little tricky to get from Monterey to Napa, so here we are. Not flying on any of these big jets or these bigger jets, but we're taking this little guy. It's gonna be tricky getting your. He said it was fine. I told him it was really heavy. So <laughs> lifted it up and he was like, we're okay. Thank you. Hey. All right. All good? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, that was a fun little one, but next time, I'll figure out how to get on these things. Until 10.30? All right, so we came out here yesterday, flew in on a bit of a dicey small plane, which was actually pretty fun. Spent the day bouncing around a couple wineries checking out the lay of the land but we ended up here which we're really excited about because we are announcing what Hannah partnership that's right with William Hill estate which is a beautiful winery that we're about to show you but also delicious wines that we will be drinking throughout all of our occasions that's right so we're partnering with William Hill which is a Gallo brand and we are here at the William Hill Estate Winery so let's in Napa Valley to check it out. Taste some wine. And we're pretty damn excited to check this out. Hannah. Nice to nice meet you. Mark yeah. Brendan. Nice to meet pleasure you. Pleasure to meet you. Hi. I'm Maude. Nice, nice to, to meet you, Maude. Grace. Grace, Grace nice to pleasure meet you. to meet you. Alice, hello. Yeah, hi. Good to see you again. Pleasure to see you. Sixteen? Can you name them all? You're way off, Mark. <laughs> that's really boring. That's yeah. not what we're yeah. I am way off. See, that's yeah. 20, 21 vintages. There's not 16. Yeah. Is there? Jeez. So anyway, <laughs> he was doing some of that in some select areas, um, which is across the way. That's the Maya Camus Mountains that okay. run on the western side of the Napa Valley. It's right there. Is his last name Hill? His last name is Hill. Billy Hill. So he's Bill Hill? He's Bill Hill. Bill Hill. Bill Hill. Bill Hill. And so really? he obviously knows this is a great site. Bill he, Hill. He lives next door and he has some or the fertile, fertile ground down there or the aspect um, or the uh, influence of San Pablo Bay. There's a little chilly in here because this is where they barrel the wine, let it age, and store it, but this, my friends, is a big room of the good stuff. Smelling the inside of a new barrel. French oak? Yeah, French oak. Woo. Smelling there. Wow, it smells amazing. Yeah, Sniffer right in there. Smells nice, but like Whoa. beautiful wood. Wow, this is massive in here. Yeah, so we're gonna go out from where we receive the grapes, and then we'll come in here and finish. And the next piece of equipment is called the distiller. The grapes go in here. keep the barrel on the actual fire that will create these toasts. And so you can imagine you're gonna be getting more fruit out of your barrel if you have light toast, more and then more smoke. char. Yeah, more char. Smoke, smoke, char, sweetness.
little did we know until we came here, the up, down, gap, and back up. It's not just a design specialty or design element, but it actually really stands for the Valley of Napa. And these are the two exterior valleys. And the indent is the Napa Valley of William Hill, where we are currently located. So you know, Billy Hill, the guy's ahead of his time. Things are winding down here, getting a little chilly. Napa does get cold at night, which is actually pretty lovely because it's been the hottest summer of all time. But we partnered with William Hill. We came here, checked out the whole estate, the vineyards, and tried a bunch of the wines. The Chardonnay is incredible. I wasn't a big Chardonnay guy before, but easy to say it's changed my perspective on it. You see me drink a lot more of that in the fall, but this place is great. We saw the facilities, the barreling, learned about how we make red wine, how we make white wine, how they press them, the concrete tanks, the oak barrels, how you can burn them, the taste, just super cool. I haven't been to Napa before. I came once for work very quickly, but didn't see anything. So this is a really cool eye opener for me. And we're just super excited to partner with this brand and show you guys more about William Hill and what's to come. So, gonna head back to this meal, wrap it up, and uh, get out of here. Also, I think Hannah and I should host a dinner here. If you guys think we should host a dinner here and invite a select group of people who can enter to maybe win to have dinner with us here in Napa, leave some comments down here. This would be beautiful. These things can happen, people. Believe it. So that's it. William Hill, we're here. We made it. It was amazing. What a cool experience. If you're Learned out here so much. in Napa, come by William Hill Estate. And if you don't, well, that's your loss. <laughs> also, but beautiful sunset. Unreal sunset. So, that's our trip. Napa Valley. It was a quick one, but we're excited to have done it. And we will be back. See you soon.